Good evening from Maroochydore Surf Club here in sunny Queensland, Australia. I'm William Daly of Daily Rant Australia and I welcome you to the second of these 2020 presidential debates between President Donald J. Trump and former Vice President Joe Biden. This debate is proudly sponsored by Kylie's Fish and Chips, which is conveniently located on the Maroochydore Esplanade. Without further ado, let's welcome the Republican nominee, President Trump, and the Democratic nominee, Vice President Biden. Gentlemen, a lot of people have been waiting for this night, so let's get going. First of all, President Trump, I'm glad to see that you're back up and about after your diagnosis. Could you please comment on how you're feeling? Now they say I'm immune, I can feel, I feel so powerful, I'll walk into that audience. I'll walk in there, I'll kiss everyone in that audience. I'll kiss the guys and the beautiful women and them. Um, Every I'll just give you a big fat kiss. How about you, Vice President Biden? How do you feel? Oh, hey, yeah, man. Good to see you. And I want to thank you for that kind introduction. And it's wonderful to be here with, with all of you to hear the stories, talk about how we're going to get through these tough times and the difficult times. President Trump, how do you feel about American politics in general? If I do not sound like a typical Washington politician, it's because, frankly, I'm not a politician. I'm embarrassed by the term. How about you, Vice President Biden? What do you think about American politics? We hold these truths to be self-evident. All men and women created by the go, you know the, you know the thing. President Trump, what are your thoughts on the upcoming election? This is the most important election in the history of our country. And I used to say it in 2016. I'm sorry, at the time I thought it was. These people are crazy. We have to win. How about you, Vice President Biden? What are your chances of becoming the next president? I'm prepared to say that I have a record of over 40 years and that I'm going to beat Joe Biden. President Trump, what are your thoughts on the American-Australian alliance? Our relationship with Australia will always be a very powerful and very successful relationship. It's been incredible and it's only getting better. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mr. President, what will you do to help Australia combat the southern La Nina weather event expected this year? We will build a great wall along the southern border. And Mexico will pay for the wall. 100%. They don't know it yet, but they're going to pay for the work. On day one, we will begin working on an impenetrable, physical, tall, powerful, beautiful southern border wall. Mr. Vice President, do you think a wall will stop the La Nina weather event from hitting Australia? You know, the rapidly rising... Uh, um, uh, in with, uh, with uh, I don't know. Uh, if you want to protect yourself, get a double barrel shotgun, have the shells, a 12 gauge shotgun, and I promise you, as I told my wife, we live in an area that's wooded and is somewhat secluded. If there's ever a problem, just walk out on the balcony here, or walk out, put that double barrel shotgun and fire two blasts outside the house. I promise you, who's ever coming in is not going to... You don't need an AR-15. It's harder to aim, it's harder to use, and in fact, you don't need 30 rounds to protect yourself. Buy a shotgun. Buy a shotgun. Mr. Trump, do you believe that a weather event like La Nina can be stopped by a shotgun? They're noisy. They kill the birds. You want to see a bird graveyard? You just go. Take a look. A bird graveyard? They're made in China and Germany mostly. Very few made here, almost none. But they're manufactured tremendous, if you're into this, tremendous fumes, gases are spewing into the atmosphere. You know, we have a world, right? So the world is tiny compared to the universe. So tremendous, tremendous amount of fumes and everything. You talk, you talk about the carbon footprint Fumes are spewing into the air, right? Spewing. 
Whether it's in China, Germany, it's going into the air, it's our air, their air, everything, right? Mr. Vice President, what's your stance on the environment, pollution and climate change? I would see to it the FERB immediately moving toward, you know, we, we're in fact in a position now that if in fact we dealt with mitigation across the board, just what we did in the last, in the last administration and before leading to a standard that we provide efficiency for appliances, that saves billions of gallons of gasoline. I mean, billions of uh, two point, I think it's $2.3 billion worth of, excuse me, $500 billion in savings and two point something billion metric tons of CO2 going in the air. I see. Mr. Trump, what is your stance on the current pandemic, the potential for a vaccine, etc.? Now they say I'm immune. I can feel, I feel so powerful. I'll walk into that audience. I'll walk in there, I'll kiss everyone in that audience. And I'll tell you what, we have, the vaccines are coming soon, the therapeutics, and frankly, the cure. All I know is I took something, whatever the hell it was, I felt good very quickly. I don't know what it was, antibodies, antibodies. I don't know, I took it, I said, I felt like Superman, you know, I said, let me at him. How about you, Mr. Vice President? What is your stance on the pandemic? COVID has taken this year, just since the outbreak, has taken more than 100 years. Look, here's the lives. It's just, it's a, I mean, you think about it. Thank you, Mr. Biden. Uh, Mr. Trump, any closing comments? Joe Biden and the Democrat Socialists will kill your jobs, dismantle your police departments, dissolve your borders, you know that, Release criminal aliens, confiscate your guns, no more Second Amendment, get used to it. Destroy your suburbs and drive God from the public square. That's what's going to happen. Thank you, President Trump. Mr. Vice President, any closing comments? And by the way, you know, I sit on the stand and it get hot. I got a lot of, I got hairy legs that turn, that, 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 that turn uh, um, blonde in the sun and the kids used to come up and reach in the pool and rub my leg down so it was straight and then watch the hair c come back up again they look at it so I learned about roaches I learned about kids jumping on my lap and I've loved kids jumping on my lap thank you vice president Biden and thank you president Trump I think those last few comments really summed up the state of the 2020 American presidential race. Remember, this second presidential debate was brought to you by Kylie's Fish and Chips, located conveniently on the Maruchidor Esplanade. Join us next time for the third presidential debate, which will also be held in Australia, in the city of Wollongong, considered to be one of Australia's most uncultured, unsafe, uninspiring, unclean, unsightly, undeniably unpleasant urban areas. But it was either that or Detroit, and it turns out Wollongong won hands down.